Hey friends, so we welcome you all. Today we are going to talk about the Tonos T and Tonos T is also known as the effective osmolality. It has been interchangeably used with the osmolality but there is a difference between the osmolality and the Tonos T. In osmolality what we say we actually measure the total number of the particles that are present per unit kg but in case of the Tonos T we only measure those particles that are responsible for the movement of the water from one compartment to the other. Fine. Like earlier we said in the previous video we gave you some example of the neutral solutes. Neutral solutes are those solutes that are not responsible for the movement that actually don't drag the water from one compartment to the other compartment and we gave the example of the urea alcohol we can say for example ethanol uh, urea these are the neutral uh, the solutes and neutral uh, solutes usually don't contribute to the tonos T they only contribute to the plasma osmolality not to the tonos T. What happens? We have already told about the Na positive. Na positive is a good example that exerts their effect across the cell membrane and causes to drag the water from one uh, compartment to the other. Now we are saying about the neutral solutes that neutral solutes what they do they are responsible for the plasma osmolality but they are not responsible for the plasma tonicity. So what happens since after equilibration their concentration remains same on the both sides from the ECF or the ICF the concentration of the neutral solutes like the urea or the alcohol ethanol etc it will remain same on the both sides. What happens during the physiological conditions tonicity is predominantly dominant in the on the plasma constant sodium concentration what we are saying that the tonus t depends only on the sodium concentration as we say that sodium concentration causes the movement of water into or out of the cell hence we can say that this is responsible this can cause some of the change in the tonus t right now what happens during the pathological conditions it may not be dependent only on the sodium concentration but some other solutes can also cause a change in the tonicity. Fine, now like we are giving the example of the effect of the glucose on the somatic cells in the untreated insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. We will say that what happens when the water moves from one compartment to other, what it tries, it tries to maintain or equilibrate the tonicity across the ICF and the ECF by changing the uh, concentration of the water from one compartment to the other compartment. This is something important that you really need to remember and it is when there is increase in ECF tonicity then what happens there occurs a decrease in the ICF. Why occurs there a decrease in the ICF volume? The reason behind this is that when the, if this is ECF compartment and this is the ICF what happens if here is tonicity is here increasing and water will start moving from the ICF to the ECF. When water will start moving from ICF to the ECF, the volume of the water inside this compartment will become less. So they have inverse relationship and vice versa, decrease in the ECF tonicity will, will result in increase in the ICF volume because here the water will travel from the ECF towards the ICF. Hence the volume of the fluid or water will decrease from the ECF and here it will go. Thank you.